Howdy! Howdy! How are we all doing? Guys, this outfit is quite restricting, I'm not gonna lie. I can't really move my head because it hits the back of me. Um, but you know what? We do it for the look, okay? I don't give a shit about the vid, it's all about the look. <laughs> Howdy! <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. We are here today to sit down, react, to watch Brokeback Motherfucking Mountain. So, basically, I've been getting into country music a little bit more recently. A little bit of a backstory for you here. Um, I love me some Orville Peck. I think he's incredible. I love him. I would love to marry him. So, Orville, if you're watching, hi, hit me up. <laughs> so, I did buy this hat to wear whenever I listen to some Orville Peck. But then I also thought, wait, I may as well justify the purchase even more if I use it for a vid. So now this is what we're doing. We're watching Brokeback Mountain. This was meant to be for Pride Month, which I mean, when is Pride Month in the UK realistically? Because London Pride has only just happened and we've got several more Prides happening, like yet to come. So this still counts, I feel like. I know Pride Month is done in America, um, so forgive me, I didn't have time to get this up because I was on holiday. But yeah, we're reacting to Brokeback Mountain. I have seen it before. I've not watched it for a little while now. Um, don't click off. We're gonna have a fun time. Usually with this movie I cry, so who knows, you might get more tears. I'm gonna really try and not. I think the goal for this video is for me to try not to sob. Without any further ado, let's get into this video. If you're excited to see me react to Brokeback Mountain, which is an iconic gay movie, then please do keep on watching. If you enjoy this video and you've not subscribed yet, and this is the first one you've seen from me, maybe, che maybe check out my others. And then subscribe, yeah? I'm wanting to do more movies. I do love doing movies. So if you have any other iconic gay-ish movies, or just iconic movies in general that you'd like to see from me, even if I've watched them, I will watch them again with you guys, because it is fun. Check me out on Instagram, it'll be up on the screen there. Check me out on Spotify, Twitter, and Patreon, all linked down below. Thanks to my pre-existing patrons, thanks for being over there, thanks for supporting the channel, it really does mean the world. The unedited version of this, the full thing, is gonna be up on Patreon, hopefully, before you see it on YouTube. So, if you wanna watch the full movie with me in its entirety, then don't hesitate, go over to the Patreon. And yeah, I guess let's get into it. I'd love to marry a cowboy. Wow. Nineteen sixty-three. Hi, baby. Now I am not wearing trousers because this is already a lot, right? But best believe, I would love to have worn a jean. Oh, I like his cream hat, but that would that would clash with my pale skin. So I'm I'm glad I got a dark one. Oh my god, the boots, iconic, the double denim, iconic. Oh my god, he's... <sighs> he is so sexy. You pair of deuces looking for work, I suggest you get your scrawny asses in here pronto. Scrawny? No, they're not scrawny, they're just not overweight. Sorry, pal. Camp Tinder, stay in the main camp, where the Forest Service says. Herder, he's gonna pitch a pup tent on the QT with the sheep. Guys, I think I'd be the camp guy. I wouldn't be going out, I wouldn't be catching food, I wouldn't be herding things. Oh no, you don't catch food, he herds things, doesn't he? he herds the sheep, and looks after the sheep. I ain't doing that. I'll stay down, I'm, I'll be the housewife, I'll be the camp wife. Okay? You sleep there. Last summer I had goddamn near 25% loss, I don't want that again. Well, 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 we know that's not about to be the case. <laughs> Guys, I wish I was alive. Actually, no, I don't because it was difficult for the gays. I wish I was alive and it wasn't difficult for the gays. Okay? Do you have a rodeo? You know, uh, I mean, once in a while. He really doesn't like to open his mouth. He's like, oh, oh, oh. It is endearing though, isn't it? That would turn me on. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna watch it there? 
The horse has a low startle point. It does the rodeo is used to it, don't you worry? Fucking real loo. God, I feel I do feel sorry for the sheep that they get they get fucking flung around like nobody's business, don't they? Like grab through the gooch and everything. Wait, do he, sheep have goochers? How cold it is up there, fucking hell. You'd freeze your fucking bollocks off, wouldn't you? Looking after some sheep. Not for me. It's not the life I want to live. Why didn't we get the powdered milk and the spuds? So we got I'm sick of beans. It's too early in the summer to be sick of beans. You've got one job, pal, do you know what I mean? Getting me shopping. You're not even doing that right. And you're also a bit judgy, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuckers! Safe to say we're not after a bear. <laughs> Shit, we've lost all this fucking food. Where the hell you been? Calm the fuck down. A whiskey or some? God, whiskey burns. Whiskey burns. How are we? How do people just drink things like that? Just on the regular? We gotta do something about this food situation. Maybe I'll shoot one of the sheep. <laughs> We have to guard the sheep, not eat them. Stick with beans. God, how fucking boring. It's not a good diet, is it? Beans on beans. Because they're going to be fat enough. Wait a minute. We'll get into that later in the vid, because we all know what's coming. And all they've been eating is beans. Coming for supper. Go back to the sheep. Spend half the night checking for damn coyotes. Coyotes! Gary got no right making me do this. You agreed! You could have said no, you knew what you, your job description was. Right. Don't get much sleep, I'll tell you that. Tell you what, there's something about a man in a good, well-fitted pair of jeans. It just does it for me. Tushy Tush! Hi! I don't really know much myself. I mean, what's the point of riding some piece of stock for eight seconds? I completely agree. You end up with a fucking whiplash. My back's already fucked. Although I do think it's all about going with the motions, right? But it's, but I feel like it's very different when you've got like, do you know like the bulls in those like fairground things? That's very much different because you can kind of get the gist of where it's gonna go every time. Like it has the same dips and such. Whereas a real bull, that, that fucker's thrashing all over the place. We been got ourselves from working on a ranch up near Warland. Now you got married, and uh, no more room for me. His life is depressing, isn't it? Man, that's more words than you spoke in the past two weeks. Hell, that's the most I've spoken in a year. Oh, I love him! I love him! Ennis Delma! Bradley Delma! It's got a nice ring to it. Bradley Delma. Don't mind if I say. That don't look right. It does, it looks great! Now harmonica don't sound quite right either. Oh my god, I used to own a harmonica. I wonder if I've still got that. It's definitely not in this flat, but I did used to own a harmonica. What exactly is the Pentecost? And when the world ends and fells like you and me, we march off to hell. Speak for yourself. You may be a sinner, but I ain't yet had the opportunity. <laughs> It'll come though, baby, don't you worry, let's sin. If being gay is a sin, send me to hell, that's what I say. I, I ride out of first light. Freeze your ass off when that fire dies down from bitter off in the tent. Let's cuddle, baby! Later that same evening. There we go. Yes? What? Just quit your hammer and get in here. <laughs> it couldn't be shivering any louder, could it? <laughs> go on, hon. Let's get all snug. I'll always be in Big Spoon. Yay! Come on, me, baby. Homosexuals. Damn homosexuals. Hello. 
God, it's aggressive, isn't it? This bit always panics me a bit. I forgot how quick it got into this. Now we know this is incorrect, right? This is lies, this is fabrications. If you're a new gay and you're watching this and you're a virgin, don't take this as what it's like. It's not that easy. I can only imagine the blood, <laughs> the carnage that is appearing. Ah. But you know what, for cinema, okay. The next morning. God, I wonder how his asshole's feeling this morning. Obliterated, I'm sure. Unless, unless actually, you know, you know what? This is another theory. Maybe he has a micropene. And if so, then maybe it is doable. You know what? Let's not rule that out. Normalize having a micro peen. <laughs> yeah, you fucked it. Yeah, fucked it. God, and there's no left. How are we gonna talk about it? Oh. I was gonna act like you didn't stick your dick in me. <laughs> this is a one shot thing we got going on here. You know, I ain't queer. Me neither. Now that's just not correct, is it? No one's sticking their dick in another boy without being a little bit queer, right? It is what it is. I'm not saying you need to be gay. Bi people exist. Here we fucking go. One seconds. <laughs> this is not making me feel any better about my current situation. Loneliness. Oh, I don't like this bit. Why is this? Why does my head look like that? Why does my head look tiny weeny? Why are you spying on us? That's what I want to know. This is so fucking cute. Can someone lasso me? Let's wrestle! Look at them though, they're so aggressive with one another. Like, my partner, we're not doing this. You're not strangling me. We're not, we're not wrestling. Like, we're not play fighting. It's not my zhuzh. I'm delicate. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> Serge, you're right. Sorry, Jake. So that's not an enjoyable experience, is it? I'll never understand gays that like to be in pain. It's not for me. You gonna do this again next summer? Well, maybe not. Like I said, me and I was getting married in November. Fuck that! Why are we getting married? Marry me! Well, I guess I'll see you around, huh? Oh my god, this part, this part, y'all, this part! I'm not emotionally prepared for this part. This is so sad. Don't punch the ball. Why would you hurt yourself? I do feel bad though, fuck me. Hey. How you doing? What the fuck are you looking at? Get him told. Bless him, oh my god. Lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Fuck their situation. Oh, see that, that's something I'd love to do. I really want to go to like a drive-in. Oh my God, if someone's got a car, see I don't drive or I take myself. If someone's got a car, please take me to a drive-in and let's watch a movie. Oh, that would be such a good first date. Are you joking? That would be so cute because obviously like an actual cinema date is a bit shit because like you've obviously got to be respectful of everybody else. Wait, that's a great first, I first date idea. Wish I could drive. I'd take myself on a date. Now look what the wind blew in. We were wondering if he was needing any help this summer. 
Okay. You're wasting your time here. Home of Phobia. Well, you ain't got nothing. I ain't got no work for you. I don't like homophobic people. Shock. You boys sure found a way to make the time pass up there. Yeah, we did, and what? Twist, you guys wasn't getting paid to leave the dogs babysit the sheep while you stem the rose. Stem the rose. Stem the rose. <clears throat> I hate that, because obviously, like, rosebud. Blech. Stem the rose, baby! That is a pretty way of saying it, but not with the connotations that gays have adapted now, do you know what I mean? Elmo, get off me. There's a gym place in Riverton over the laundromat, and I'm gonna go fix it up real nice. I hate that she's whispering in his ear, it makes me feel ill. <laughs> I'm sorry, Elmo. <laughs> he does. Do you know what I mean? He seems to like being alone. So let him be. That's a lonely now, is he? Touching her tit. Guys, he's touching her tit. I don't need to see that. Lights off, turn around. <laughs> there it is. So where do you figure the most pussies at? <laughs> People are gross. I'm gonna keep it down. I got two little girls here. Let's see the most pussy It said, hold my baby. <laughs> Here we go. Put him up. God, he really just booted him round the face. That was iconic. And you know what? I'm going to use this to waft myself because fuck me and the... Oh, no, it came off. Oh, whatever. Hi, Anne. Love her shirt. That is so camp, oh my god. Go on, you bad bitch. You've got it. Wait, what am I pulling out here? I've just pulled that out my hat, and I'm not sure why it was in there in the first place. Does that fit different? No, it feels the same. If anyone knows why there's a little ribbon in my hat, then let me know, and should I have pulled it out? Probably not. Okay? <laughs> Sex in a car! Unless it's like a fucking van, I'm okay. Like, it just don't look comfy, does it? I don't think I'm too fast, do you? I wish you put the brakes on. Brakes on? Fast or slow, I just like the direction you're going. That is such a good line. Oh my god, he killed that. Fast or slow, I just like the direction you're going. That's how you get your end away. Jack fucking twist. Yeah! See, that is fucking cute, innit? That is so ballsy. Straight away as well, and there she is, there she sees it, bam. Well, what do we do now then, babes? What do you actually do if you see your man snogging another man? Show me. Like, she is gooped, and rightly so. They were dumb for that, like, Surely, like, just go somewhere where you know she ain't gonna see you. I got a boy. Yeah? Eight months old. Maybe the police going down to the Look at her face. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I don't condone cheating, but in this instance, I will. All right? I think it's pretty clear he's not happy with Alma, but I do feel bad for her, because obviously they do have kids. We might not get back tonight, when we get to drinking and talking and all. Drinking, talking and fucking. Didn't think I'd hear from you, King. Okay? I figured you were sore from that punch. Or maybe the fucking with no lube could be sore from that. She's got a point. I swear to God, I didn't know he's gonna get into this again. Don't fucking lie. You're a liar, a cheater, a sinner, and a homosexual. 
What about you? I'm in an unhappy marriage with two fucking kids. They're absolute nightmares and won't stop crying. Live, laugh, love. Well, broke big guy is good, don't you? Fair back also sounds great. <laughs> no. No. See, if I was there, I'd be saying, don't kiss me with that mouth. I don't know where that's gone. Do you know what I mean? There's no way on God's green earth that he'd be kissing me with that mouth. Iconic. Hi, Lilies. Oh, see, what the fuck? That seems like literally the dream. Like, that would be so much fun. Like, a little retreat at a fucking mountain. Are you joking? What if you and me had a little ranch somewhere, a little cow and calf operation? This is quite an idyllic point of view, isn't it? I don't think he's necessarily thinking clearly. I told you, it, it ain't gonna be that way. It's extremely unfortunate, though, but it sounds wonderful. They found Earl dead in an irrigation ditch. And his dad took him to see it. What the fuck? Spurred him up and drug him around by his dick till it pulled off. That is awful. That is fucking disgusting. You know, we can get together once in a while, way the hell out in the middle of nowhere, but... Once in a while. See, I ain't good with that. I'm not a side piece. Do you know what I mean? And I, and don't get me wrong, I understand. I really understand that it's a very difficult situation, but I wouldn't be able to do it. I'd have, I'd have called it quits here. I'm not gonna lie to you. Alma! Supper is on the stove! No one's eating unless you're serving it. God damn it, Alma! You know what? She does fucking right. As if he said to her, no one's eating unless you're serving it. That is... That is troublesome. That is some misogynistic behaviour, okay? As far behind as we are. Kids, I'll be happy to leave you alone. Oh! I'd have them if you'd support them. The gag. The gag! The gag, all that with the fucking nipples out. Oh my god, bitch. You know what? Getting told. That was, that was a line. Delmar divorce granted this sixth day of November 1975. Woo! We're a free man! No more being sad, it's time to be gay. <laughs> Oh, this here's Jack. Jack, these are my little girls. Here's Alma Jr. and Jenny. Alma Jr. No one call your your child your name Jr. Don't do it. Right? I'm sorry. It's not a it's not a vibe. Stop! It's not cool. It's not original. Think of a new fucking name. I'll see you next month. Love his jacket. Oh my god, the way I would rock that shit now. <laughs> Don't cry, Jack, because I ain't doing it today. <laughs> this is just unsafe, isn't it? <laughs> Gag. <laughs> that is, oh, I hate that. I hate that so much. That's, that just freaks me out. Let's be real, that's essentially what people are doing these days on the ground. Bobby, if you don't eat your dinner, I'm gonna have to turn off that television. Damn fucking right, first of all, right? Could not agree more. Great parenting, well done Jack Twist. Daddy? This on the other fucking hand? What the fuck? We don't eat with our eyes. I want your boy to grow up to be a man, don't you, daughter? Boy, she wants football. What if he wants to do ballet? Do you know what I mean? And that's on that, sir. Now you sit down, you old son of a bitch! Getting fucking told! This is my child and you are my guest. You sit down before I knock your ignorant ass in the next week. <laughs> and she liked it. She fucking liked it! <clears throat> you still go fishing with Jack Twist? She had to ask, didn't she? She had to fucking ask. I used to wonder how come you never brought any traps home. So one night I got your creel case open that before you went on one of your little trips. Why did she need to tell him this? I tied a note to the end of the line. I looked in that case first chance I got and there was my note still tied there. Why does she need to confront him now? I guess she's like, you know what, you're in my house, you're under my roof, do you know what I mean? I can confront you because it's in my control. Jack Twist. Jack Nasty. Jack Nasty. I didn't realise she ever said that. Jack Nasty. 
You didn't go up there to fish. You didn't go up there to fish. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! As if he could come threatening to hit her. No, Ennis, we don't condone that behaviour. Absolutely not. Just own up to it. Do you know what I mean? You're not, you're not with her no more. Just be like, yeah, sorry, Elma. I did drop the ball. I did fuck up. I wonder how long it had been there since their divorce. Like, did she really have to bring it up? Maybe you ought to get out of there, you know? Find yourself someplace different. Maybe Texas. He's been asking you, Ennis. He's been asking you. If you're not happy with your situation, take the fucking plunge and move. And we can just live together herding sheep. And whiskey will flow in the stream, Jack. That's real smart. You want to live your miserable fucking life and go oh, right ahead. Right. This is the thing that I will, I will agree with Jack on this, right? All he does is complain about his miserable fucking life, but he ain't changing it. God, he's like a fucking plan coward, isn't he? Get those hips moving, cowboy! Come on! What do you do, Anna Stelmar? She ain't doing that to me. We've just met, you ain't putting your bare feet on me. No, no. Mm-mm. I mean, he likes it. Oh yeah. I like him guys, he's sexy. More dance? Yeah. Wait, is that a hopper? Guys, wait a minute, that's hopper. Is that a hopper? Wait a minute. What the fuck? I need to search this. It is! We ought to go down there some weekend. Drink a little whiskey, fish some. I'd be absolutely down for that, Randall. Get away, you know? Randall is hot. Sometimes I miss you so much I can hardly stand it. We don't need this right now, guys. I'm not ready for it to get really sad. I've been having a good time up until now. I've been taking the piss. And it's really about to really just plummet. There's something I've been meaning to tell you, bud. Here we go. Country boy, I love you. Well, it's likely November before I can come out here again. November. We're not good with November. Christ, it is. Oh, God, I'm not ready for this. Oh, I'm not ready for this. There's never enough time, never enough. This is a goddamn bitch of an unsatisfactory situation. <sighs> Ain't that the fucking truth? It's hard enough getting this time. The trade-off is August. You got a better idea? Marry me. I hear what they got in Mexico for boys like you. He knows all about it. Hell yes, I've been in Mexico. Is that a fucking problem? He goes to Mexico to get his gay on, okay? Leave him be. It's allowed. I'm gonna tell you this one time, Jack fucking twist. Is that a fly on his jaw? All oh, them things that I don't know would get you killed if I come to know them. Fuck off, I can do whatever I like. And it should be unreasonable now. Right, if I want to go to Mexico and do the sex worker thing, I will. We could have had a good life together. Fucking real good life. But you didn't want it, Ennis. So what we got now is broke back now. Period, Pooh. Could not agree more. You count the damn few times that we've been together in nearly 20 years, you measure the short fucking list you keep me on, then you ask me about Mexico, and you tell me you kill me for leaving something I don't hardly never get. That's on that, okay? That is so much tea. You have no idea how bad it gets. I need to get my day on. I'm really trying to keep this lighthearted, can you tell? <laughs> I wish I knew how to quit you. Oh my God. I just can't stand this anymore, Jack. Not the fucking flashback! I didn't need the flashback, I'm sorry, I really didn't need this. Look at how he's looking at him, are you fucking joking me? Oh god. Oh, God, no! Fucking deceased! Fucking deceased! Guys, he's dead! 
Jack was pumping up a flat on the truck out on the back road when the tire blew up. By the time somebody come along, he'd drown in his own blood. Actually, no, that's not the truth. She's big, fat, fucking lying. He was only 39 years old. Hello? That's, this is disgusting. I won't be surprised if, like, her dad and her maybe had something to do with it. Because I don't understand why she'd lie. Unless she knew knew about it. He used to say he wanted his ashes scattered on Brokeback Mountain. He wants his fucking ashes scattered on Brokeback. Get in touch with his folks. Suppose they'd appreciate it if his wishes was carried out. See, she does seem sad. Doesn't she? I, I really find it hard to read her character. I always have, like, and I've watched this a few times. You want a cup of coffee, don't you? Piece of cherry cake. Oh, she's lush, isn't she? He's not. Thought he was too goddamn special to be buried in the family plot. I don't like this man. I really don't like him. Look at his face. He looks mean, doesn't he? Looks real mean. You are welcome to go up to his room if you want. Like, she seems like an absolute sweetheart. The father, on the other hand, fuck knows about him. He's scary to me. God, this is so sad. What the fuck? Like, I have nothing to say because it's just sad. Like, it's taking everything in me really not to get emotional. Oh, God, and this. I don't need this. He kept their motherfucking shirts. Oh. My. God. If this don't make you feel some type of way, guys, you're heartless. I remember when I first watched this, oh my god, the breakdown that occurred. We got a family plot. He's going in it. What a fucking wanker. Can't even carry out your son's dying wish. That doesn't bode well to me. Do you know what I mean? Me and Kurt, we're getting married. We're getting married, oh, we're getting married. The wedding bells are singing. I was hoping you'd be there. Do Alma and Kurt. Congrats, darling. I wonder when I'm gonna get married. Does anyone else wonder about that? Like, I always wonder about like when I'm actually gonna get fucking married. Am I? <laughs> it's just not fair, is it? This is such a fucking sad ending. Like, why did you have to leave this movie on such a downer? Why did he have to die? But I guess that's realistic, isn't it, of the time? You be gay, you risk getting killed. Well, guys, I didn't cry. I'm very proud of myself. But obviously, I have seen this movie before. Um, best believe, other times I have really wept. Oh, God, I remember watching it once with my friend, actually, and he broke the fuck down. Um, so yeah, guys, that's this video. Hopefully this was entertaining. I think it was. I've enjoyed myself. This fly's fucking me off. Um, but yeah. If you've made it this far and you've not subscribed, subscribe. Oh, God almighty. Did you cry when you first watched this movie? Was this your first time watching the movie? If so, I'm sorry that I spoiled it. Um, but yeah, love yous. Bye.